Shut up. We've only got 22 minutes. Shut up. Hello, my friends. Welcome to Britain's premier reality-based magazine spin-off show. It's nice to have you back. How are you? Uh, it's Big Brother's Little Brother, my friends. It's day two. The time is 7.31. It's official. This year's Big Brother house has upped its game and includes... A 79-year-old man who wears socks and sandals. <laughs> I can also now confirm he officially did make it down the stairs at 5.02 this morning. What a night, my friends. I'll tell you what, the focus of today's show is quite simply, we got very, very excited about our brand-new housemates who we love with all our hearts and get to know them as intimately as we can from behind a wonderful new Perspex desk. And to help with the task in hand, we are joined by two ex-celebrity housemates, a woman, nay, an icon, who enjoys a love-hate relationship with Big Brother. We love her, she hates us. It's Jermaine Greer, everyone! <laughs> nice to have you with us, Jermaine. And... Our next guest was uh, runner-up in Celebrity Big Brother 3, runner-up in Cirque de Celeb, and we've even introduced him second. It's Britain's favourite, almost winner, it's Kenzie, everyone! Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, nice to have you both with us. Thanks for joining us. They'll be here for the duration, but now let's recap on the veritable mixed grill of celebrity that went into the house last night. And trust me, it is a mixed grill, because already Danielle saw uh, it's in Ken's Little Sausage as well as his chops last night. More of that later, but for now, here's our first lot. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Jermaine Jackson! I love making my own bed, and I still do it to this day. 365 days out of the year, I have to make my own bed because I want to. I can cook. I can make a few dishes um, without someone throwing up. I'm going to bring peace. I probably do act like a little bit of a princess sometimes. I have been quite spoiled all my life, so usually I get my own way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll probably be the one that relaxes everyone. It's Ken Russell! I hope that in the house I'll be seen as a sort of a benign influence uh, who won't swear. Now, that'll be something new. I don't swear. I don't swear. You hear me? Genius. It's not a word I use myself. It's thrust upon me. It's just I'll turn into a right diva, horrible bitch that everyone will hate, and I'll come out and go, I found my true self. That'll probably be what it is, and I've just lived a lie all my life thinking I'm nice. <laughs> just myself. It's Leo Sarah! I'm inquisitive. I'm not negative. And I'm energetic. <laughs> but I'm sure I can be annoying. <laughs> Energy, wisdom, and fun. <laughs> right to cheer. Good looking housemates. And we'll be getting uh, Jermaine and Kenzie's views after the news. Now, my friends, we kick off the show as we always do with Little Brothers Big News Get Out. <laughs> complete this year with some snazzy new graphics. Very happy about that. OK, first up, quite a lot in the first 24 hours, Jermaine is plastered at 4.34 this morning. After leaving a mystery black mark on his pillow, Jermaine got up to some unusual nasal antics in the bathroom. I have to say, and I know brand new series and everything, this is probably the strangest news VT I've ever intro. Make of this what you will.
I like it. <laughs> and we'll be keeping our eyes peeled back with Salatate to bring you more. Now, next up, when I need rules, I just shut my eyes and I have rules. Uh, you know what it's like. You're doing something boring like reading the Big Brother rule book, and if only you had an all-round entertainer to brighten things up. And luckily for the housemates, at 1.38pm today, there he was. Do not use the hot tub immediately after eating. <laughs> <laughs> Do not use the hot tub if you have respiratory or circulation problems. Ooh. Or do not have any medical condition without seeking medical advice from Big Brother. Oh, my God. I think Leo's definitely going to crack. Yes. I did warn them that I'd drive everybody around the bend. Still got it. Oh, yeah. And uh, lastly, I know what a part of the spirit to say to Benedict Sean. Uh, despite claiming her application form to be fluent in six languages, Shilpa seems to have a bit of trouble getting her tongue around Dirk. At 3.34 today, this happened. What did he say? <laughs> talking about how I <laughs> pronounce Dirk's name as Duck. <laughs> Duck? I can't really pronounce it like that. It's like Dirk. <laughs> I can't do that. It sounds really strange. What, so Jack? I. Dirk. I so I, I, call, I, I call him Dirk. 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 <laughs> Duck. <laughs> Duck Benedict sounds like a dish. <laughs> I think I should just stick with Benedict because I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just call him Benedict. He'll absolutely love that. That, my friends, was Little Brothers Big News. <laughs> so we have Jermaine and Kenzie with us. Lovely to be Hello. with us, guys. You have, uh, well, you've breathed, lived in those very wars. You know exactly what our inhabitants are going through. So, Jermaine, firstly, what's it like entering the house for the first time? Because it looks terrifying. Well, it is terrifying. Um... Generally, it's, I mean, for me it was terrifying because I knew I didn't have enough clothes mm -hmm. and I didn't have enough underwear in particular and I had no eyeliner and I was going to my doom, <laughs> I thought, really. <laughs> um, what do you reckon? But yeah, I was going to say, the crowd reception for, yeah. for both of you is the, is the thing, I think, I mean, and coming down here every week and mm. seeing how these people boo and cheer in equal measure, yeah. you know, they, they, they change mm -hmm. like the wind, but when you come out of a car... Yeah, a you... cheer's a relief, because that's the, kind of the main thing. You're sitting in a, a room before with just four white walls thinking, am I actually going insane? What is going on? Sweating. And then you kind of get out of the car and you hear the kind of... For me, I, I had nine bandmates at the end of the carpet, so I was like, that was a bit of a relief. <laughs> yeah, that that okay. made up the majority of the audience, so okay, it was guys, cool for me. Who are, you, who are you most surprised to see in the house now? I think I'm most surprised to see Shilpa, because she has a huge career, tons of work, mm -hmm. um, and she stands to find herself in some very awkward situations. Do you really think? Do, do, do you think it, it, could, it could harm her? Well, I thought, for example, there were no cameras in the bathroom. We were told we, there was privacy in the bathroom <coughs> and there was poor Jermaine doing his blackhead removal mm -hmm. or whatever that was and with us all looking at him. I think for her that's going to be a bit difficult. I mean, at the moment, she's able to take it easy, but you're going to make her do some stuff that's going to be undignified and show bits of her that the Indian public has never seen. Jermaine, I'm drawing a line here. They are. We just reflect on it. OK. <laughs> OK. <laughs> 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 uh, what about you, Ken? Who are you surprised to see? I was quite surprised to see Donnie because, obviously, you get this kind of... comes from quite an indie kind of rock background where they kind of base themselves on being quite credible. Mm -hmm. And you kind of think sometimes that maybe for them to come on a show like this, this would deem them uncredible. But, you know, I suppose with people like Preston did really well for himself, so maybe he took a leaf out of his book, I'm not sure, but it, it was quite a shock. And to see how he walked down the carpet, I, I, I kind of mixed opinions on that. OK, guys, let's uh, get your take on a, a mini roundup for the last 24 hours. Anyone here? Hello. 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 Oh, I love what you've done with the room. Yeah. When do they start filming? Oh, my God. God. Donnie's just jumped in the hot tub with all his clothes on. <laughs> Donnie, housemates must not get their microphones wet. You are so cute, Leo. Oh, I was just a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic.
Oh, I can't sleep. And I have a naked man in my bed. OK, really early days, but who are your favourites so far? Leo. I think, I think Leo comes across really well, just like a fun kind of guy. You know, and I think he's already entertaining the house. And like he just said, I've got a man we in my bed. sat there last night, and my girlfriend immediately, she saw Leo. Leo. She just went, oh, Leo. Yeah, yeah. 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 What about you, Jimmy? Well, that's the secret of Leo's life, of course, is, is disarming people. Well, you know, I've got a really soft spot for Danielle. Mm. I think she's just so pretty, so fresh, and so innocent. Um, they'll probably try and. But this is an interesting thing because she, I think because of the life she leads and who she goes out with and all this sort of stuff, she got booed because she's not seen as a, what they call a wag. Uh, and yet, immediately, people are seem to be sort of warming to her like what, 24 hours in. She seems to be really nice and quite. Because sweet. she has no side yeah. at all. Okay. Everything, what you see is what you get with that little girl. I was very confused today because she said that she was a scientist. And I hadn't heard the thing she said before that. Yes. But apparently, what she said before that was that if you eat bananas, they stay in your system for three months. OK, right. Which... <laughs> we'll get to the, the bottom of that for you, Dwayne, I promise you. Uh, Jermaine and Kenzie, for right now, everyone, thank you. <laughs> we'll be sticking around to answer your questions, some mine, some yours, in today's cool BBLB. So if you have any questions for Jermaine or Kenzie, give us a call 0 no one one oh one one oh nine. Text studio and your question to 83188. Or uh, give us an email, uh, bblb at channel4.com. Join us after the break when we reveal which housemates and a phobia of large leaves, and who's called his child Your Majesty? Take a wild guess. <laughs> and which celebrity used to bag poultry for a living? We'll see you back here in three. Take care, God bless you. Back to Big Brother's Little Brother. Hope you are well. It's nice to have you with us. Our first show of the new series. It's day two. The time is 7.47. Still joined by our celebrity guests, Kenzie and Jermaine Greer, everyone. Yay! Now, before we have another chat, I've been told I have to take it to the bridge. May I, Jermaine, may I take it to the bridge? Definitely. Thank you very much. Uh, crew, may I take it to the bridge? Yay! I don't know where the bridge came from, but I, it's going to replace the uh, jacuzzi that we used in the summer as our white elephant this series. So here we go. I've now officially taken it to the bridge. Um, just no reason why it's there whatsoever. So, we have 11 celebrities in the house. Let's learn all about them. Hello, fella. First up, we've got... Hi, big brother. This is Jermaine. Yes, Jermaine Jackson. Now, Jermaine's got a son named Your Majesty. He has, in fact, got eight children and severely enforces the rule you're not allowed to play on your Uncle Michael's balcony. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, no, it's the kid dangling joke. That's all. Uh, Danielle Lloyd is up next. There's me in two beds to dangle on between his legs. What? <laughs> I don't understand what you just said. Uh, according to the form she filled out, she was born on the 16th of December, 2006, <laughs> which makes her 19 days old. <laughs> she gave herself 5 out of 10 for intelligence. Next up... Getting to know you, getting to know all about you. Ken Russell has a phobia of large leaves and he keeps obituaries of the critics who's trashed his films, so watch what you say. We, of course, here love his films. Next up is Joe Mira. It's a lot smaller than what I thought. I know. <laughs> she has a mum and dad tattooed on her body. Her friends are here. Is that like a whole big tattoo or the names of her? The names. The names, good. I was going to say. Dad, mum. Uh, but has given herself four out of ten for intelligence, so let's hope she spelt it correctly. Next up, Leo Sayer. I was just a boy. <laughs> the worst rumour he's ever heard about himself was that his hair was permed and his best friends were Nigel Mansell, the Formula One driver. That's not the worst rumour he's heard about himself. He's actually friends with him. Next up, Shilpa. I'm so transparent. Shilpa Shetty. Shilpa has had a nose job, but you'd have a nose job too if you had 1.1 billion people watching every single movie you made. Uh, next up, Carol Malone. As soon as you put your bum down, it's hot. Mm -hmm. She has worked <laughs> as a news reporter, a crime reporter and a royal correspondent. She made Anne Diamond cry for cheating on her diet when she was on TV. Donnie Tourette. All right, sunshine. Yes, indeed. Real name, Patrick Browning. He hates bad manners, not the band, but literally bad manners, and idiocy, presumably when he's not doing it. He's a punk singer and the author of How to Make Friends and Influence People When You're a Bit Tipsy. Next up, Ian H. Ian H. What is your name? I'm learning how to use my tools. <laughs> no, it's just not funny. It isn't funny. <laughs> I'd say we shouldn't use that in rehearsal, cos uh, we obviously know him as H, which stood for hyperactive, apparently. His worst job was bagging dead chickens or being in steps. You decide. Uh, Cleo. How's it going up your end? Uh, it's... <laughs> 
I feel like St James. Um, <laughs> she said yesterday she's on the lookout for an oil, which is an O-I-L, so I'm an old, lo ill and loaded. Good luck in the house. Can't think of anyone who fits that description. <laughs> and finally... You no cigars, no Benedict. No cigars, Yay! no Benedict. He was born Dirk... No, 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 no. no. <laughs> uh, but changed his name to Dirk Benedict after his favourite breakfast, which is very lucky, cos if he could have been called Dirk Sugarpuff. <laughs> Didn't work in rehearsal either. Uh, so that's our 11 housemates, but... Hello there. Who are you, cheeky chops? <laughs> We're not entirely sure who this housemate is or what the twist is going to be on Friday, but... I smell kebabs. <laughs> in the meantime, this Lightbox update has underlined the fact that we've got another load of profiles we haven't seen yet, and that would be a terrible crime. So let's have a look at them now. <laughs> Can please give a warm Bollywood welcome to Shilpa Shetty? Well, I'm an eternal positive thinker. Oh. Shut up. <laughs> Just beware. I can kick ass. <laughs> I want to be real. If, if, if someone's getting hurt in there or getting, um, you know, messed about or getting abused, yeah, I hope I'd step in and do something about that. Yes, I will say what I think. Um, but I hope most of all that I'll be fair. Irony and chocolate. It's Dolly Tourette! Yeah! The perception is that I'm a troublemaker. Well, I'll give you a call back in a minute. Right, bye. There's my mum. <laughs> See how bad we are, bad lads. Mildly rebellious. It's Ian H. Watkins! My friends would probably say that I've got really bad wind. Yes, um, blowing from the north. <laughs> hmm. um, misunderstood. It's clear records! I never go to bed without having my sunglasses and lipstick beside my bed in case there's a fire. If you're going to hang out of a window and scream for help, the firemen think you've made an effort, they might come to you first. Mayhem, glee and cartwheeling. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Dirk Benedict. Twenty years later, to be remembered for having done the A Team and Battlestar Galactica, it's a little. It's, I never would have expected that. Cut. <laughs> I'm bringing underwear, socks, and a jock strap to go with my skipping rope. There they are. So, got this twist coming up on Friday. Any ideas, guys, as to what it might be? Families, we're hearing. You think? Yeah, maybe a whole generation. Do you mean? It depends if you go shopping in Dartford. Because apparently <laughs> all the shop girls have a theory. Yes. That Am I allowed to say it? Yes, it's just a theory. That the goody family is going to move goody, in. Goody, goody, gumdrops. That's right, I just cut them off with my new BBLB bell I've got now. That's fine, yeah. So we'll, we'll find out all about that on Friday. Uh, it's time for this cool BBLB. Um, Jermaine and uh, Ken's are still with us. Chris in Sunderland uh, is first up. Now, bear in mind, this is a whole new, very organic cool BBLB. You just can ask, ask any question you like. Chris, what is your question? Hi. Hi, Dermot. Hi, Hello, Jermaine. Chris. Hi, Kenzie. My question Hi. is to the two guests, who would... Be out first and why? Okay, who do you think is going to be out first and why? Got a lot of names to choose from. Hmm. Maybe 
Who's that? Cleo. You think Cleo might yeah. be? Yeah. <laughs> the, the mere fact you had to say, who's that, yeah. uh, <laughs> led me to believe <laughs> probably not your favourite. I just haven't had her speak, that's all. Mm -hmm. I've got a soft spot for her because she's got so many of Kenny Everett's mannerisms, and I worked with him a long time ago. I've got a funny feeling it'll be Carol first out. OK, fair enough. Well, I was going to ask you about Carol. How do you feel about that, that whole kind of uh, a journalist coming in? Do you think that's uh, do you think it's a wise move on her behalf, or do you think it's a good thing for the show? Well, I, I don't understand it quite, because I presume the usual agreements have been entered into about confidentiality, etc., and so forth. So if she wants to turn it into copy, she really can't. OK. But she has an irritating, bossy way of talking, as if she's an authority on stuff. And she's a hack. You're a tabloid hack. Oh, oh dear, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely didn't see that coming. Uh, Richard in London's up next. Hello, Richard in London. Greetings. Welcome back, you mad lot. How are you all? Very and nice, Richard. Well, a question, really. Somehow but doubt we're mad My concern you. was why <laughs> are always the feisty types voted out first? Okay. And do you actually think that of a way to actually keep the interesting feisty types in the house so that we get some good entertainment. I don't know about that, but do you think, why do you think, why do you think the feisty types are, are, are voted out first? I've only got about 25 seconds. Because, well, it's not because they're feisty, it's because they're overbearing and boring. Everybody's feisty if they get room to manoeuvre. Mm -hmm. I bet Danielle will turn out to be feisty on her day. Okay. What do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. That is all we've got time for. Wow, it just flew by, didn't it? Many thanks to our guests, of course, Jermaine and Kenzie. We are back here tomorrow, 7.30. Don't forget to be in Anne Russell tonight on Channel 4 and E4 Collectively. Take care, God bless. <laughs>